didn't know, I host a podcast with a mathematician called Matt Parker. <laughs> it's called A Problem Squared, and it's where we try and solve our listeners' problems. And in episode 012, we received a problem from a Patreon supporter called Mike. And Mike said, I used to think of big fluffy jackets as inherently warm, but of course, they're really just insulation against the cold. How hot does it have to be outside before wearing a jacket will help you stay cool? It's a really good problem, and at first I thought it would probably be pretty easy to solve, right? Like, the average body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius, so that should be the point. Any temperature outside below that, you're going to feel warmer inside the jacket, and any temperature above that, you're going to feel cooler inside the jacket, because that's what the jacket does. It provides insulation from outside factors. But then I remembered that your body regulates its temperature by sweating. And if you're sweating inside a jacket, there's nowhere for that heat to disperse through the water droplet. But then I realized that that can't be right because, you know, firefighters, they wear really big jackets and everything. And, and that must mean it provides some protection from the heat, right? Otherwise, firefighters would all be naked. I guess it would explain those calendars. Back. I realized that the reason the problem is so hard to answer is because it's not a very specific problem. Like there's so many different variables, like the type of heat that you're in and obviously the temperature and whether there's any air movement and, you know, is it a dry heat or a humid heat? What, like radiation levels, that, all this sort of thing. It got so confusing. And so I thought the only way that I can actually solve the problem in part is to create a controlled experiment so that I could at least test it in one particular scenario. The problem is I live in London and it's really hard to find a warm controlled environment especially in a lockdown. Luckily a company called Higher Dose makes infrared sauna blankets and they sent me one so that I could do a controlled experiment. So what I did is I filmed myself using the sauna blanket for 30 minutes on two occasions. The first time was without a big fluffy jacket and the second time was with a big fluffy jacket. Firstly, I just want to say I loved doing this experiment so much. Like I love sweating. I love being in saunas. I love being in steam rooms. I, I've started working out just so I can start sweating. Like I love sweating and I miss it so much because as an Aussie stuck in London during winter in a lockdown, oh boy. Just using it in this experiment, like my skin has totally cleared up. It's been so good and because uh, I get sore muscles and stuff after working out and everything. I was super energetic after doing it. I mean, I'm very tempted just to do a whole bunch of experiments involving the sauna blanket now. And in fact, if any of you want me to do experiments with the sauna blanket, comment below. I mean, or just get your own and make your own videos. <laughs> Let's get what you came here for. And that is to see me sweating. So at the beginning, the sauna blanket was at 65 degrees. So the one without the jacket, I was at 36.3 degrees. And the one with the jacket, I was 36 degrees when I got in. So there's a very, very slight difference there. Uh, if you think it makes a huge difference to the overall result, and I'm sure some of you do, then again, comment below. I'd love to hear some other people's thoughts about how I carried out this experiment. So checking in at around five minutes, there's already a difference and it's not just of 0.3 degrees. In the video where I don't have the jacket, I reach 37.2 degrees Celsius. And when I do have a jacket, I'm 36.3 degrees. At 10 minutes without a jacket, I reach 37.7 degrees Celsius. And shortly afterwards, that's when I start sweating. And of course, that's because you're getting above your body temperature. That's the point of a sauna. You, it makes you warm, you start sweating, right? With a jacket, I'm at 36.8 degrees Celsius and I'm feeling fine. You can probably see from the footage, I'm just like, I'm just chilling out. I don't know what I'm thinking about. No idea what's going through my head. At 15 minutes, I'm at 38.1 degrees without a jacket, but I'm also warming up in the jacket. I'm at 37.2, so I'm only 0.9 degrees away now, but I'm not noticing it. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but 
again, like I felt fine. I wasn't, I wasn't sweating yet at all. And by this stage in the other one, I definitely was. You can see that my face is starting to go a little bit pink. My hair's getting a little bit sweaty. And that's where you can see that the heat is really trying to leave my body through my head. Whereas in the jacket, it seems to just be dispersing into the jacket. At 20 minutes, that's when I really start to feel the sweat, you know, the good sort of sweat. And that's when I'm reaching 38.6 degrees, which again, that's exactly what I'm after when I'm doing this sort of thing. But with a jacket again, 37.3 degrees. I genuinely, at one point, I was like, I feel toasty warm, but not sweating. Like I felt like I was in a comfortable, like, oh, I'm warming up on a cold evening thing. It's so strange. It wasn't until around 22 minutes that I actually got my first bead of sweat while I was in the jacket, which is crazy because it's like 65 degrees outside of it. I'm just feeling toasty warm. 25 minutes is where it starts to get interesting because that's when my temperature without a jacket actually starts to plateau. I'm still at 38.6 degrees, which is a lot, but it hasn't moved. And when you think about every five minutes leading up into this, we've been climbing and climbing. Whereas with a jacket, I'm at 37.7 degrees Celsius. So I'm still going up. That's 0.5 degrees more. At 30 minutes, when I finished the experiment, my temperature without a jacket was 38.8 degrees Celsius, which means that it only actually climbed by 0.2 degrees since I took the last reading five minutes earlier. But with the jacket on, it was 38.1 degrees Celsius, which means it was starting to catch up. Either way, it's clear from those numbers that there's only so much cooling you can do in a 65 degree environment without any air movement. So jacket or not, your temperature is going to rise and it is going to go above your body temperature. The question is, at what point would it have been cooler to be in the sauna blanket without the jacket? And I was really hoping that by doing this experiment, I would solve the problem. But obviously time is a factor. And I don't know if I'd done the experiment for longer, would we have found that point? So in conclusion, the one solution I can tell you is that in 30 minutes, it is cooler to wear a jacket in a controlled environment of 65 degrees with no air movement. I'm going to discuss these findings on the next episode of A Problem Squared, which will be 017. So if you'd like to hear the opinion of a professional mathematician, make sure you tune into that. And in the meantime, please comment below with any of your theories, ideas, or other comments. I'd love to hear them. I want to say a final thanks to Higher Dose for sending me this wonderful infrared sauna blanket. It is a godsend. If you want one too, head on over to higherdose.com and get yours there. Bye, look after yourselves, stay warm.